What is up YouTube? I'm back once again with another DIY Tesla power update video. Now, looking back on my last upload date, um, you may have recognized that it has been a real long time since I've actually uploaded anything on my channel at all. Um, so I think it's been roughly a year, I think. The last video I did was dismantling the uh, red packs. You may have seen that video, I'll put a picture on the screen. Um, but we'll just have a quick look, see when the last time it was. But yeah, I have been meaning to upload videos, uh, but I've just been so busy with work and stuff like that, that I just haven't really had enough time or I have started videos, but they just didn't turn out how I wanted. So the last video I uploaded was, yes, dismantling the battery packs. So it has been quite some time. Um, the video before that was our uh, plans for 2019. So as you now know, it's 2020, um, it's a bit of a rough start as you may have known. Uh, with all the coronavirus and stuff like that so um, it's all cool where I'm at where I'm working uh, I'm not going to go into much detail but I'm on my two-week break so I've got a lot of time to work on my power wall anyways so pretty much what's been going on is you may remember um, the power wall used to be up here you have can do it's coming down from the roof with solar panels it's been moved to the side um, I prefer to have bench space along the side of my workshop and I can have cars and stuff but yeah so you can see it's all been relocated um, I like it a lot more it's a bit more compact the cell testers aren't on the side anymore I didn't really need to I've already tested all the cells I didn't want to have it permanent or anything so yeah pretty much I've got the two inverters here the wires come routed down in some uh, can do it uh, black this time not the beigey color I had before the solar charge controllers they go down into the same uh, cluster and um, that goes down to the batteries so yeah uh, it, it's it's functional you can see that some packs aren't connected and that's because I had an issue with that cell and I just disconnected it and it looked like it was gonna catch on fire I could hear, hear all the um, fuses and stuff popping so I pulled that out that's uh, to the side of the workshop um, but yeah so pretty much today I'm going to be ripping these apart as in taking off the bolts and um, plugging them up to my makeshift balancer. You may have seen this on HP Powerwall's video. Pretty much it's just a cluster of our uh, ring terminals connected to a XT60, which I plug into the charger. And um, with that, I can balance the cells and charge them at the same time. Pretty much I'm gonna be taking these apart, balancing them, balancing these top two, um, and then taking this one out and finding a pack that's suitable on the same capacity as that one. It'll probably be from one of these ones or the green packs I've got on the side. Um, so I'm going to be doing that today. Um, nothing too special. I'll try and do a bit of a time lapse of me pulling it apart and uh, showing you all the dust and cobwebs because this has pretty much after the last video I did, it's probably a month I changed it after that and um, then it just kind of sat and I've been working and you know it, it's functional enough it was doing what I needed powering air compressors and air cons and stuff so it just um, got a bit neglected um, didn't want to put too much more money into it because it's really expensive anyways I'm gonna stop rambling on I'm gonna start ripping this apart and I uh, will see the health of the cells and see if there's any corrosion or blown fuses so yeah So here we are, we've got all the packs on the ground. I've just switched cameras from the iPhone to my Samsung. So if you do notice a bit of a quality difference and that's why. Um, so pretty much um, when I was pulling this apart, there were a few spiders and stuff uh, between them. So I just had to flick them off, but you can see here they are rather dusty. Um, in need of probably some compressed air or something like that so we'll bring that around and clean these up after but just um looking at these initially uh nothing seems to be out of place like there's no uh venting signs or anything like that pretty much i'm going to hook up all of these to the balancer cable that i showed you earlier with this um you need to have um like a cardboard divider between every cell. This is because when they're all connected in parallel, if one side touches this side, it's got to short out because one's positive and one's negative. 
so yeah I'm gonna rearrange these a little bit nicer um, and I'll be back once I've done that so I've got my balance lead um, and then also as I mentioned earlier we're going to need some CDs or something like that that we can use as a divider so this is my general stash just uh, a few of the classics um, but yeah don't don't mind the, um, the music taste and all that but pretty much um, we've got to separate each end of the battery um, from one another because uh, they become obviously opposites when they are in parallel not series that's the general kind of idea um, so now balance leads get hooked up using the same connections that I used to connect them in series there's one side and here's the other now I did have a label printed out so this side's positive and then this side is uh, negative so and that um, obviously corresponds on here when I plug it into my charger so I'm gonna wire this up now um, and I will show you uh, how it is set. So I have now hooked up all of the cells to one another, so they're all in parallel. Um, this does take a lot of time to do and um, a lot of care because, I mean, these, one's positive and one's negative, so they're right next to each other. And while you're hooking it up, when you've got the positive lead, um, obviously stringing across the other side, it's quite dangerous doing it. So as long as you do it slow and think before you move one cable over another um, you should be fine but none of the cables are overly hot you saw from the previous video a previous little snippet um, that they weren't super out of balance but they weren't great either that's a year out of balance so if you guys were curious what it's like after a year with no BMS um, that's the result so let's just uh, do an um, equalized pack I guess or not really yet until we leave it so what's that come to? 3.6. So some of them are at like 3.7 or something, but um, I think one was at 3.5, so that's why it's come down. But yeah, so we'll leave that overnight, pretty much. That's gonna be it for this video. Um, it's good to be back, uh, making more videos now, um, and hopefully I can keep the trend coming. So hopefully tomorrow when it's light, um, I'm gonna go over what's been going on, uh, what I've been working on other than the power wall. But yeah, so stuff like that and that and that has been kind of in the background a little bit. So we'll go over that tomorrow. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for coming back and uh, checking out what's been going on. Um, but yeah, other than that, I will see you guys in the next video.